Hello, what's up? It is Quintina and I am here on the Barefoot Projectors channel. I am so excited to be doing this video. This is going to be the first of a few different videos in this series. I'm going to be talking about what I'm bringing to Ghana to meet Anane and what we're going to be um, doing with all of the things that are strewn around this room. So I am so glad you're here. Welcome to the channel. I am so excited to do this and let's just jump right in. If you have not subscribed already, I need you to do that. Just it's really easy. It's free. Just click the little button, says subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you can be updated on all of our journeys together and um, even the departure that I will be doing um, coming from America and going to Ghana. Holy crap. It is so close to the day and I think I'm finally almost 100% prepared. I have a couple things that I don't want to buy until November because they are monthly things that I'll need. But other than that, I pretty much have every single thing that we need. So first things first on the list, I'm just going to, we're just going to start off with how insane I am. So I went to the dollar store because they have these citronella um, wristbands and these are amazing. I have heard so many people love these. They last, I think it said 300 hours, 300 hours. And this bag is resealable. So you can actually put the wristband back in. This is going to be amazing to keep those mosquitoes away. I am not trying to get malaria. <laughs> and I heard that a lot of people, um, especially Americans that have gone over to Ghana have got malaria. And uh, so I'm trying to avoid that with every fiber of my being, as you can see. And so I got a bunch of these and I'm really excited because they're going to last a really long time. Um, I even got, there's some wipes back here that I'm going to keep in my purse uh, when I travel. We're definitely going to be doing some outdoorsy things, getting that hike in. And so <laughs> this is definitely going to be a must um, if I don't have... A wristband. Another thing that I am going to be getting is a doTERRA roller ball. They actually, you're able to customize them and I have a friend that, her name is Cookie and she sells these doTERRA roller balls and you can customize them. So I'm going to be getting one of those from her and it's going to be a blend of essential oils that's going to keep the mosquitoes away. I do not do DEET. I love anything that is natural. So the fact that really though that's on here is citronella and a couple other, um, yeah, a couple other things, then this is going to be freaking perfect to keep the mosquitoes off of me because I am not playing. I know that they say that <laughs> where I'm from, Minnesota, that the state bird here is the mosquito, but we don't have, we don't have all that crazy stuff. So first things first, wristbands, citronella wristbands. Okay, speaking of mosquitoes, <laughs> my mom got this for me. This is just a mosquito net. It's the pretty one, kind of reminds me of like princess vibes. Hi, I am going to be uh, a queen over there. So I am really, really excited to have a mosquito net. Um, and I think this one's actually like pretty, like, you know, it's kind of drapey. Um, I don't think that it's going to be you know, too wild. And Anane already said that it was fine that we put it on the bed. He just wants me to be comfortable. So thanks, Anane. <laughs> oh man, he's gonna enjoy our lovely mosquito net. So this is definitely a must. Um, if you are um, staying in a place that is more in the outskirts of town, maybe in a crawl where they have like air conditioning and closed off windows and stuff, you don't really need to worry, but I will be living in Kumasi. So I definitely wanted to get a mosquito net and um, my mom also wanted me to have the mosquito net. So of course, thanks mom for this wonderful, wonderful birthday present. So thanks. 
Okay, next up is the Life Straw. These are really, really cool. You can actually drink straight out of running water, or not running water, but moving water, I should say, um, with these straws. I don't suggest standing water because standing water kind of has a little bit of like stagnancy to it. It's kind of like, just think of a regular lake. You don't want to drink out of a lake, right? You'd want to drink out of like a river would be, or a stream would be way more... I don't know, tasty, I guess. Um, but of course, I am American. So going over there, my body is definitely not going to be used to the different microbes and bacteria that's in the water. So it's really, really good to have straws just in case I don't have access to purified water. Um, I can drink it from these straws. And the cool thing is you can drink like a thousand gallons of water. And these will last about five years unless you're drinking a gallon a day which I who knows I might be um but then yeah they still last a really really long time so um I'm excited about having these I have two of them um one of them has this cool little like carabiner thing on the outside so this is gonna be amazing for um my travels there so this is actually something that I didn't even think about needing. If you are staying in the city of Accra or you are going to be living in a place where they actually have running water and lots of regular amenities that you might be used to here in the States, um, then you're not going to need this. But if you're not like me, uh, this is really, really cool. My mom also thought to get this. It is, whoops, it is a shower kit so basically you put the water in here you can let it sit outside if you want it to be warm and it'll actually heat up this is like solar material so it'll heat the water up um it has a little spout that you can connect with this hose you can adjust the water filtrage and how fast you want it to come out of the little shower head which is so cute by the way um yeah and then you just stick it right in there and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really, really cool. I definitely would not have thought of this. My mom is definitely on top of it when it comes to researching and things that you need. So another thing that um, is going to be so, so helpful um, when I'm like used to taking a regular shower and they don't have that where I'm going. This was such a thoughtful gift. So my best friend got this for me and it is a market basket and it is like meshy you can see through it i'm really excited about this because this will be perfect for going to the market and getting like fresh fruits and veggies because it is hot and it is humid and i'm really happy that this has all of these holes in it because that's going to help the air kind of flow through so then my fruit and veggies that i put in here are not going to get like moldy and um you know gross <laughs> while I'm uh, going around in the heat and the humidity. So this was such a cute gift. I am obsessed. It says happy, healthy, and blessed, which we are. Oh my goodness. And I hope that you are staying happy, healthy, and blessed as well. I love this bag. Next, this is hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> Does JBL want to sponsor me? Because I have literally their headphones and now a speaker from them. Love. Um, but I got a waterproof speaker that can fit right in my backpack. I'm so, so excited because this is going to be perfect for when we are hanging out outside, when we want to just listen to music, maybe if we want to meditate outside, this is going to be so perfect. We can just Bluetooth it right up to our phones. And yes, they have cell phones over there for all of you that are wondering. And um, it is like it's Bluetooth, so they're uh, compatible. And even if not, my phone I'm bringing is um, an iPhone. So I I know it will be compatible with this but this has five hours of playtime and it is waterproof and dustproof which is so great because a lot of places there are also kind of dusty especially in the dry season which is what I'll be heading into when I get there uh, so that's gonna be very interesting so I'm excited to have this and be able to play music outside and um, it was like 50 bucks or something very very inexpensive but I love 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 JBL um, and oh it's by Harman so that's really cool I used to have another um, Harman speaker so very cool 
Okay, so these are all full-size products that are going in my actual suitcase. Um, I have some of my most favorite products in here, things that I'm not really able to get over there. Uh, I have my face wash. This is, oops, yeah, this is the Monet Be Balanced Foamy Cleanser. This seriously is my favorite cleanser. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's super hydrating, but for people with oily skin, it is definitely amazing. And you can actually get this online at tinasani.com and it is literally my favorite thing. If you need a skin consultation, let me know. I can definitely hook you up with your skincare routine and I can get you a discount. So, but anyway, I'm obsessed with these products. They are my absolute favorite for skincare and hair care. Um, and so this is great for me for my oily skin. Um, I also have the Be Purified Charcoal Mask from Monate. This is so nice because it's super natural, super lightweight, and it's actually like, it doesn't harden super hard on your face. So you can still like move around and smile and it won't like crumble off your face, which I love. Um, and yeah, so definitely bringing that. Um, my Hello fluoride free toothpaste i do not do fluoride um and anana also does not do fluoride so i'm really excited to have him try this he does not have this type of toothpaste over there so i'm excited um for that and then oh of course i have um some body oil because we gonna need to be shiny when we're taking pictures and <laughs> i'm actually going to be bringing two of these um, but this is just an air dry cream also from Monate and this is just going to help keep my curls. Uh, I have my hair done today, but usually my hair is kind of curly. So this is just going to keep it, um, nice and smooth because it is hot and humid over there and I am not trying to play with my hair while it's over there. <laughs> All right. So this thing is actually super cool. This is a, oh, I don't know if I can open it without. Okay, so basically this is like a lantern. It's solar powered, but you can also plug it in. I think I actually lost the plug to this, so thank God it's solar powered. <laughs> um, because unfortunately the lights go out a lot in Ghana, like more often than you would really like to want them to go off. Um, we would never like them to go off, but it happens. It's just part of being over there, especially in the rainy season. Uh, they will turn off the electricity sometimes if it gets too, if the storms get too wild. Um, but sometimes they just do it for unknown reasons. So it's really, really important to have some sort of solar powered lantern because when the electricity goes out, of course you can't charge anything or you have something that's like pre-charged, which I have something else that I'm bringing that is going to be pre-charged and will be perfect for when the lights go out. But this is nice just to have a little lighted lantern. So basically you just like blow it up and then um, the power button is down here and it just lights up like a little lantern. So super duper cute and super compact, which I'm excited about because I'm trying to take as much as I possibly can over there because I only get two suitcases. So there's that. Next thing up is water shoes. I am definitely going to be uh, practicing my, well, not mine, but um, I'm definitely going to be practicing doing barefoot walking. Um, my partner, Anane, is a barefoot Rasta, and so he doesn't wear shoes unless he's forced to. So it's really, really nice that I have these for the water because my little fragile American feet are not going to be used to walking all the time barefoot, especially in water. Um, there's lots of rocks and it's very like just very different terrain than what I'm used to here in Minnesota and even in the States where I've been. So these are going to be really, really amazing. They have a great grip on the bottom, which is cool and like little places for your toes, which is adorable. Um, and, uh, I think these were, um, uh, from Amazon. They're the L run and I'm a size eight, but they come in, um, UK sizes. So I'm a 39, um, in the UK size. So there's the for Americans who are going over there and you're bringing your American appliances. I'm telling you, you have to get one of these. I'm obsessed. 
This is a power adapter and you have to have one because the voltage over there is not the same as the voltage and wattage here in America. So you need a converter. So this one is from Amazon. Um, New Vanga Universal for US, Europe, UK, and Australia. Um, it did have um, a couple other one, a couple other countries and stuff that it listed on there. Um, but there are different power um, cords or different power um, plugins that you can, I'll get a little closer, you can get on these. So then um, you have that, you have a USB over here. And then um, these up front are like your surge protection. Um, and yeah, so uh, travel universal adapter. So definitely, definitely, definitely need one of these. It is so, so important. Uh, if you don't have one of these, then you're kind of screwed and you can't use your stuff over there. So make sure that you get one of these. Do not forget to pop it in your um, your suitcase. Honestly, I'll probably keep this in my carry-on, but it was in my suitcase pile, so I'm gonna keep it in this video. Um, but I'm gonna do another video on what I'm taking in my carry-on and my personal items. So thankfully, they give you um, a carry-on and a personal item, so I will be uh, showing you in the next video what I'm bringing in there so that you can be prepared for if you're going traveling and especially if you're going to Ghana. So I hope this video helped you to feel as beautiful as you already are. I am so excited. Make sure if you want to follow mine and Anani's journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And you can follow us on social media at Barefoot Projectors on Instagram and also on Facebook, Barefoot Projectors page. So we love you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.